Have I told you lately how much I love you? Hmm, let's see. Not in the last 30 seconds. Well, in that case, I'd better make up for lost time. Hmm. You know, Sam, I really feel silly about what happened earlier. You know, walking in on you and Ivy, I, I know it was nothing. It's exactly what it was. Nothing. Yeah, I know you love me. More than you ever know. Yep. You got a fever? All right, I'll, uh, I'll go over to Grace and see if she's got some aspirin. It's so great we came here to Harmony, isn't it, Dad? Having Mom close by? Yeah, great. Finding my mother after all these years? It's like a dream. Thanks, Dad. You'll never know what having Mom in my life means to me. my question, Ivy. Which prefer, Grandma or Nana? See, once Ethan and I are married, we're gonna have lots of kids. I will never allow you to marry my son. You have no say in it, Ivy. Ethan is gonna propose to me tonight, so I'm gonna be your daughter-in-law, the mother of your grandchildren, whether you like it or not. What did you just say? I'm pregnant with your baby, Ethan. I'm carrying our child. Pregnant. This changes everything. So you're saying my son could really die tonight? No. I'm so sorry. Are you sure? I'm sure. Sweetheart, what's going on? It's not good news, honey. Antonio's condition is critical. He could literally die at any moment, maybe even tonight. This can't be happening. Sure so what, what's going on? Somebody want to clue me in? There's no reason to keep any secrets from me. I mean, I may be blind, but it's not like I don't know what's going on here. Eve just gave me an examination, and I'm sure that she's telling you what happened. So how about it, Eve? How bad is it? No, Sam, stop. Huh? No, Sam, we can't do this. This changes nothing, Ethan. Gwen, how can you say that? You, you're pregnant with our baby. Nevertheless, I'm, I'm still going to move to New York, and I'm still going to take that job. And you are still going to propose to Teresa and marry her and stay here in Harmony and get on with your life here. And I'm going to get on with my life in New York. This is going to be the wedding of the year. The century. I can't wait to walk down the aisle and see Ethan waiting for me at the altar. What was that, that that Ethan told you? That if he had to choose between Gwen and me, or you and me, he would choose me. You remember that, don't you, Ivy? Yes, 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 the housekeeper's daughter's going to have your son's heart. And you know why? Because I love Ethan more than anything else in this world. 
and he knows it. No, Teresa. Ethan is not going to have your heart because I'm going to rip it out of your body. Oh! Let's see you, Antonio. Tell me what's going on, Dr. Russell. It isn't good, Antonio. I'm getting worse, aren't I? Your condition's deteriorating. Well, that's what you said would happen when we were at the book cafe, that once the symptoms of blindness started coming on, as an indication that the end was near. Yes. Tell me what you told everyone else, and don't sugarcoat it. Just be honest with me and just tell me the truth. There's a... There's a lot of questions associated with your condition, Antonio. Questions? Well, what I would tell you, it would be... most probable, not an absolute. Go on. Well, your life... You could die at any moment. Sheridan? I'm here, Antonio. Sheridan, um, come sit beside me. I want to I hold you. I love you, Sheridan. Oh, Antonio. Don't cry. Maybe it'll be like Teresa said. Maybe I'll get a miracle and I'll recover. We are all praying, Mijo. Even if the worst happens, everything's going to be okay. Because I have you in my life, and that is the most important thing to me. Your love. Whatever happens to me. Antonio is close to croaking. And Louise is out of your reach, girl. Look at the pain in their faces. Elise and Charity, did you see it? Hmm? They are just longing to be together. Aren't they? <laughs> and soon they will be. No matter what, I am a lucky man. I've lived a wonderful life. I have a loving mom. I've got a brother who, who I would trust my life with. And I have a beautiful wonderful fiance that has brought me more joy than I ever imagined possible. My life is perfect. Grace, why do you want me to stop? I'm your husband. No, Sam, you're not. I mean, David is. I thought we got past that. How can we get past something that's a fact? I mean, years ago, before I had amnesia, I married David. It's a simple fact. What well, may be a fact, but it sure hasn't made my life simple. Grace, I'm tired of sleeping on the sofa. I'm tired of being away from you. We've been married over 20 years. Look, Sam, I Grace, know that. Grace, we have three children. This house, we rebuild it together. I could care less about your past with David. We're married. We have a life together, a future. But in the eyes of the church, we are not married, Sam. Because David won't get the annulment. No, it's not that he won't get the annulment. He, do he doesn't want to lie on a church questionnaire. So he told him that he loves me, and therefore the church... The church won't grant the annulment. Oh, come on, Grace, that's semantics. Well, look, I don't want to argue with you about it because... because I have another plan. Another way that we can get back together, even if we can't get the annulment. Oh. You and David get a civil divorce. Then we'll be married by the justice of the peace. A justice of the peace? Yes, Sam. and then we'll be legally married 
and, and we can stop living the way we are, like brother and sister. Pray so I can come into our bedroom again. We can go back living the way we have been for the last 20 years. All you have to do is divorce David. No, Sam, I can't do that. I could never do that. Grace doesn't want to divorce me. Does that mean she wants us to be together? Come on, Ivy, bring it on! Whoa! Damn you, Teresa! Is there a problema, Ivy? She's <laughs> a little overheated there. Oh, you better take care of that wheelchair. You know, I was thinking we could, like, put some streamers on for the wedding and maybe a couple balloons here and there. You're going to make it more damn you and your balloons! Oh, nothing is going to stop me from marrying Ethan, Ivy. You see, Ivy, I really have changed. Yes, I told lies, but no matter what, I have loved Ethan, and I have never lied about that. The only person you ever loved, Teresa, is yourself. Believe what you want, Ivy, but the fact is, you can either be for us, or you can be against us. And we are going to have lots of children, and I believe their grandmothers should be in their lives. <sighs> Grandchildren with your genes, the same lying, manipulative genes that have ruined Ethan's life? No! Oh, God, Lord, you can't! this happen. You cannot let Teresa marry Ethan. Right, right. You, you, you can't move to New York now. I mean, what about the child? I mean, he or she will be mine, too. Ethan, you can see our child anytime you want. Anytime I want? I know that you are in shock right now, and believe me, so am I. But I have to think right now, I really need to be alone. No, Gwen, we need to Ethan, talk... Ethan, please. I have to be by myself right now. To have all of you support me and, and stand behind me the way that you have, I, I can't tell you how much that means to me. And Luis? Yeah, Antonio? You've been so strong for me. And it's in your strength that I find the will to fight and to keep going on. Never give up. I can't take this anymore. Sheridan? I'll go talk to her. Mama, I feel so bad for her. She'll be all right. Yeah. No, but she loves me so much, and for her to have to hear that I'm dying. Everybody is in so much pain. Why not be? Yeah, it's, it's worse because secrets are being kept from Antonio. <sighs> Sweetheart, it just makes me realize how lucky we are to have a rock-solid relationship. There's no secrets between us. Get ready to be busted, Eve. He's going to take your daughter and kick you out of his life so fast your head will spin. Oh, Louise. No. So what do you think we should do? Do? What are you talking about? You don't still think that we should tell Antonio the truth about us, do you? I mean, you can't possibly think that we should still tell him. I figured the worst news we were here tonight would be about Liz's horrible sister. And now this. I feel so helpless. Now there's nothing I can do for Antonio, except to try and keep the pain from becoming too severe. I guess Liz must have felt the same way. What? Helpless. And her sister abandoned her and became a drunk, drug addict, and a whore. Why not, Dizzy Lizzie? Wait, wait. Come home with me, please. Oh, I need you. Oh, Liz, Liz. Come with me. Come with me. Oh, I have something that'll make you feel so good, girl. No, come. No, come home with me. I need you. Mom needs you. Why are you all the time trying to 
Sheridan are going to be together. <laughs> and you'll be in the outhouse, kiddo. <laughs> How could you even suggest that we just go ahead and tell Antonio about Sheridan, it? Sheridan, Sher Weren't you listening? Eve said that his condition is deteriorating to the point where he could die tonight. Yeah, I understand that. But weren't you listening? Look, Antonio told us all that he wants us to be honest with him. So yes, I think that we should tell him the truth. That would kill him. Literally, you can't be serious. I cannot believe that you would kill your own brother. You can't divorce David. Grace, of course you can. And you would have to do it anyway, even with the annulment. That's just the church's dissolution of marriage. The divorce is the legal end of a marriage. Sam, we can't get married without the annulment. I mean, I I am not going to send my children the wrong message. Sorry to interrupt. No, you're not. What? You love to interrupt. You're always looking for ways to come between Grace and me. Well, I'm sorry to feel that way, Sam. Nowhere near as sorry as I am. Okay, look, uh, Sam, David, is there something you want? No, but John does. He's, uh, he's got a fever, and he wanted a little... Chicken noodle soup. A fever? Poor John. I'm, I'm going to go see him. Grace, wait a minute. We have to settle this. And we will, Sam. I mean, my child needs me. I need you. Our children need you. And when are you going to realize that? And when are you going to realize that this family is falling apart? Save your prayers, Ivy. God has spoken. He answered my prayer when he brought Ethan back into my life. It's a miracle. It's an abomination. No. It's a done deal. So spare the theatrics. I'm gonna get married to Ethan, and there's no way you can stop it. No, 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 no! 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 One thing I ask of you, Ethan, please don't tell Teresa I'm pregnant. Not yet. I want to tell my mother first. Of course. I do not want this to be public knowledge until I'm ready. Look, fair enough, but we, we do need to sit down. We need to Sorry, talk about... Ethan, I know. But right now, I really need to be alone. I have so many things I need to think out. And, and I don't. I mean, this is my child, too. I, I know. I know, and we are going to sit down and talk about all of your concerns, but not now. Gwen, I need to talk... Please, of... Ethan, please just respect my wishes on this. All right. But we'll talk later. My baby. Our baby. I, um, I just spoke to your mother, and she's still reluctant to accept our marriage. But she will come around, I am sure of it. What is it? What's going on? Teresa, we, um, we need to talk about something. Something very important. Our family, our children mean everything to me, Sam, and we do have a lot to discuss. But right now, John needs me. 
Did you take his temperature? 99.5. It's not a fever. I have a digital thermometer. I'll take it again. Grace, let David take his temperature. No, Sam, I want to do it. Look, I was never there for John when he was a little child. I want to be there for him now. Please understand that. You know, I, uh, I wish to hell that you would never come to Harmony. Because, believe it or not, Grace and I were happy before you showed up. Really? That's not what I had. What? Yeah, I was told that you had uh, unresolved feelings for Ivy. Well, that's not your damn business. And Grace can't have been too happy about losing the baby right after finding out that Ethan was your son with Ivy. Let's just cut to the chase, shall we? We both want Grace. And it's up to her to make the choice. No. It's up to Grace and me, together. We've been married for over 20 years. We have a commitment. You forget that Grace is legally my wife. And I love her. We should be together. Here comes Liz. Okay. I'm dealing with it. What choice do I have? You've had a pretty rough time tonight. Your monster of a sister ruined your earlier life, and now Antonio, the guy that you have such strong feelings for, has pretty much been handed a death sentence. I'll buy if I get you some water, okay? Thank you, Tito. I can't do anything about what's happening to Antonio tonight. But I can do something about what you did to me, and I will. You abandoned me, Eve. Took away everything from me. And I'm not going to rest until I return the favor and take away your husband, your daughters, your career. Your whole life. I will pray, Mio. I will pray for a miracle. Well, one of the wonderful things that you taught me, Mama, was to have faith. You taught me that when I was young. And I just want to thank you. And I'll pray too. I pray that I'll live, but if I don't, I know that I'll go to a much better place. That, that's the only thing I regret. Not being able to spend more time with Sheridan. I thought that I would live a long, happy life with her. I want to kill my brother. That's what you think? No, Sheridan. That might not be what you want, but that's what you'd be doing. Why don't you just listen to me? I love my brother. He's my blood. You know, I hate seeing him go through this, and I hate that we're going through this. Look, Sharon, that's why I wanted to tell him earlier before his condition worsened. Now we have no choice. Of course we do. No, we don't. Sharon, I am not letting you go back and live as his fiance. I'm not letting you sleep with him. It's just not right. Sharon, I love you. You're the woman that I'm going to marry. So I have to tell him the truth. You heard what Eve said about the shock. There's a risk. I understand that. But I also know that there's a chance that Antonio could live for a year or two years. Sheridan, maybe even 15 years. Look, are you willing to risk our relationship for that? But can't you see how hard this is for me? Sheridan, look, I know that you feel responsible the accident that caused Antonio's condition, okay? And I know that you fell in love with Antonio when you had amnesia. But I also know that if you don't tell him the truth, then we're all going to be living a lie. And you heard Antonio in there. He doesn't want to live a lie even with, with, the little, with the little time that he has left, okay? So we got to tell him the truth.
Why do you look so stern? Of course we have something important to talk about. You're going to propose to me now. Well, you, you talked to Gwen, right? You got everything cleared away? So there's nothing holding you back? Go ahead. Ask me. You already know what the answer's going to be. This changes nothing, Ethan. Gwen, how can you say that? You, you're pregnant with our baby. not all that high, but you are pale. I don't care what I look like. As long as I get to eat your cooking. Oh, well then, okay. As long as you have an appetite, I guess you can't be that ill. <laughs> so this is what it's like to have a mother. Someone to look after you, care for you. Love you? Yes. You know, I just wish I had been there for you earlier when you were a baby and when you were growing up. At least we're together now. Mm, that's right. <laughs> I'm gonna go get you that soup. Okay. And the tomato soup cake? Fresh baked today. All right. Okay. Thanks. If you love Grace, you pack your bags and get the hell out of town. Let her get back to her old life. Grace doesn't want that. Grace has found someone else who loves her. She doesn't need anybody else. Well, then Grace will have to make that decision. And I'll be the one bouncing you the hell out of town. You can try. Okay, what is going on here now? Grace, we have to stop this. All right, stop the uncertainty. I want you to tell David that you want to get a divorce so we can start the paperwork tonight. Look, Sam, I told you I do not want to give the children the wrong impression. What we're doing now, that's the wrong impression. Look, the church says we have to get an annulment. It's very clear about that. <laughs> but we're not going to get the annulment because David won't... Won't, won't what? Won't, won't lie? Is that what you're going to say? Won't lie before God? Look, I don't want some regulation keeping us apart. Okay, you know what, Sam? I really just don't want to talk about this right now. I mean, my child needs some food. I want to get him some soup. Well, what about us? Uh, what about our kids? I mean, don't you have time for us? Look, Sam, I always have time for you. Grace, listen. Let's get this out in the open right now. Let's solve the problem and get our marriage back on track. Right? It's not hard. All you have to do is divorce David and remarry me. Hey, let's start our future together right now. laughing at me, that despicable you little... Say no. No, is it fixed yet? Yep. I'm trying to go easy on this chair. Next time it and you could go up in flames, catch fire. Oh, I don't care about my damn chair. I don't care about going up in flames. I'd rather burn in hell. And let Ethan marry Teresa. Oh, oh, but what can I do about it? Nothing, nothing. There's nothing I can do about it. Ethan is going to marry that wretched girl. Oh, Ethan. Teresa will destroy you. She will destroy your entire life. Oh, God, my poor baby. Oh, my poor son. Ethan? Teresa... Something came up. Uh, I just got some news. And I, uh, there's some things I have to work out. Some things I have to think about. Well, well things, well, what are you talking I'll, about? I'll, I'll be back later. Well, what's going on? I can't tell you now. I have to deal with this news, but I, um, we'll talk later. He wouldn't have changed his mind. No. No, he, he couldn't. No. I'll deal with the news that he just got. He will come back, and soon we will be a happily married couple.
Gwen. Pregnant. Teresa. I gotta clear my head. Let's figure out what I'm gonna do. Look, Sam, you know what? We're gonna sit down and we're gonna talk about all of this later. It's just right now I really want to get John some food. Make him some soup. Let David take him the soup. No, I want to do it. Fine. You do what you want, all right? I need some air. Whenever you can fit me and our children into your schedule, you let me know. Look, Sam. Let him go, guys. He's just upset. You guys need to cool down, okay? You can talk later. I just... I just think Sam needs a little space right now, all right? Besides, uh... Sean needs his tomato soup cake. I just wish all this was resolved. It will be. It will be. I got loose, Grace. comes back, he'll take my hand, slip the ring on my finger, and ask me to marry him. Must you be everywhere? <sighs> I'm waiting for your son. He's, he's on his way. He's coming to propose to me, Ivy. Or should I call you Grandma? Is that what we said on there? Or is it Nana? God, but you're loathsome. <laughs> Not to your son. Nothing's gonna stop Ethan from marrying me. Nothing. do this. Yes, you will do this. I always dreamed of having Ethan's baby, but not quite like this. I'm going to be a mother. Am I going to be a wife? Shared him back? No. I'm really worried about her, Mama. Why don't I um, go find her? Bring her back. Isn't there something we can do? 
one thing you don't want to mention in front of Antonio. I've been perfectly honest with Antonio, Lord, just like I have been with all of you. And I've put Antonio's case, along with his particular conditions, on the Internet. I have spoken with doctors all over the world. And the consensus so far is that Antonio can live a few days, months, perhaps even longer. But it's important that we guard against shock. As the result of any shock can be a drastic and sudden worsening of his condition. So, you're serious? A shock could really kill my son? More so now than before, Pilar. Any shock to his system, physical or emotional, could be fatal. No! Luis, we cannot tell him. We cannot do this. I'm certain we can, and we will. No, we have to think about Antonio. Only Antonio. That is exactly what I'm doing. Sheridan, Antonio would want us to be honest with him. If we didn't tell him about our relationship, it would be a betrayal. That's why he has to know the truth, okay? And we are going to tell him. That's it. It's over. You'll never get Louise. Say bye-bye to happiness. <laughs>